It's Gundam time! Hello, welcome to another figure review. Today we're gonna have a look at the Bandai Robot Spirits RX-78-2 Gundam. The original. Now you know me, I am not the biggest Gundam guy. I don't really know much about the show because it's way too much. I did see Gundam Wing a long, long time ago, but that's not really relevant. I wanted this figure because this is a re-release known as the best selection action figure by Bandai, they're doing this for figure arts, they're doing this for uh, robot spirits and whatnot. And I wanted this one, because this is the original Gundam, this is such an iconic design, such an iconic character, that I had to have it for the collection. So, let's have a look at it. Since I'm unfamiliar with the Robot Spirit series, I gotta say one thing right ahead, I'm a little disappointed of how small this guy is, it's a Gundam. Obviously by the box, I did not expect him to be 30 centimeters or whatever, but yeah. He stands at only about 13 centimeters to the top of his head, which means he goes up to 5, 5.1 inches. So, you know, it leaves, it leaves a little bit of a, a presence to be desired. But still, the figure looks absolutely fantastic, I gotta say. I looked at some pictures and it really shows how the box says, I don't know if I mentioned that, but it is the uh, anime version, where does it say that, there we go, version anime, and looks like the anime version, it, it, it kind of looks a bit plain, but I guess that what they were, that's what they were going for, you don't want to really like, uh, some of the more rugged versions of like the video games, but anyway, um, there is not really much paint to speak of, except for the face sculpt. And uh, the paint that is there is clean, it's just like, it doesn't seem like the mask is really lining up. I say mask, but like the helmet, the head, whatever. Like there's a little bit of a problem with the plastic. But for the rest of it, the head looks nice. Have the horns on there, have the sword handles in the back. And there is some mechanical detail also on the jetpack. Has some holes in it, which uh, I don't really know what that's for, but I'll look into it as we move on with this again. I have yellow plastic, blue plastic, red plastic, and white plastic, and that's what I'm saying. Overall, it looks a bit plain, but uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm getting over it. Uh, the more I look at it, I still think it looks very nice, it looks very complete. The colors are shiny on the plastic, at least. You got the symbol in the crotch area, and the green hands, and all the mechanical detail, which... It's not really that much, but the, it was the first Gundam, of course it's not gonna be that much. Still looks pretty iconic, and I like it. Now one of the fun parts I feel like when I'm looking at robot characters like this is always the articulation. Because it's way easier to hide joints and whatnot if you're running with a robot instead of like just... I don't know, uh, a female character that has barely anything on, because all the joint bits and pieces will stick out. So, head moves up a lot, and moves down has some side-to-side -side motion. Let me wiggle this, see if I can wiggle this around without wriggling the neck with it, because there's also some neck articulation. I think that is on the ball joint. So it does go side-to-side -side with the neck, and the head also rotates all the way around, but let me pull this up again. So with the neck combined, you get back, forward, and side-to-side -side motion to great success. For the shoulders, you have a ball joint that's just in there, and the whole entire shoulder piece is connected with the pad. Also, by the way, the, these parts, you can take these out for when you want to wield uh, these, his sabers, his um, lightsabers. Bicep swivel and a double hinge. Is it a double hinge? No, it's actually that. Yeah, it is a double hinge. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't even sure about it, but it is a double hinge. Goes up all the way. And why is this loose now? Oh, okay. I guess you can just pull this out. Oh, well, assemble your own Gundam. Then we have another swivel over here, and the fist is on a ball hinge, actually very cleverly hidden, and this entire panel over here kind of moves out with it. So, it looks like it's not gonna move a lot, but it actually does because you have the entire plate in it moves with it. Same with the chest area. You have the entire torso, goes back, I mean, it's not great, but you can tell how it just kind of splits over there without leaving any big gaps, and let me try that again. Goes to the back, doesn't really go that much to the front because of the blue piece in the chest, but still, considering how I looked at it and I was like, there's probably not much going on, it's still a little bit, and I appreciate that. So the entire lower torso, the crotch piece, goes pretty much all the way around. I mean, we've already seen it, it's just on a ball pack, bleh. 
and has some rotation in it. Then for the legs, you have these entire panels which lift up in the front and a little bit on the side. It's connected in the back. Doesn't uh, It leaves just enough space. Actually, I'm surprised. I didn't know it would go that far to the, to the side. And the back panels, unfortunately, do not budge. So back movement is hindered by that, obviously. And then that just pops off. Have a swivel in the thigh. The double hinged knees is uh, ugly, but like I'm, here's the thing with that, you don't really need this part. It really splits apart a little bit too much, but as I'm saying, you really only need the front part. You already get pretty good range, and if you just want to push it like that, it still goes all the way up, but I would never just like get this all the way out because it looks ugly. But still, it's functional and very nice. Then we have a very good anchor rocker actually just is this just on a ball peg or what is going on over there no you have this entire piece which rotates and a ball peg in the leg as such it's amazing it goes side side back forward also you have a toe hinge a small one and this piece as you can tell it's just wiggling around with this entire connection because it's just on the ball on the side over here so it does not get into the way of your articulation now for your accessories, first of all, you got some hands, you got two holding hands, regular stuff for your swords, and well, the gun is more for the holding hand, for the uh, trigger finger hands over here, just simple green hands. Then you got actually this piece, which uh, is just to connect the hands over here. I don't really know what's, what's up with the other sides, maybe you can connect it to base or whatever, but I don't really know, just like put the hands over there. To uh, store them, then you got this piece, which is not relevant until we get to the shield, so I will not get to it yet. Then we have the gun. It's a simple gun, but looks accurate to the anime. Has the right amount of detail, doesn't really have any paint. Can rotate this piece around, and as already shown, can rotate this piece. Has a little bit of gold in there, and that's pretty cool. Let me keep that here, because I'll still be needing it, and you have two energy effects. <clears throat> which you can either use as swords if you want to take this out of his back. You can connect these. And you have your pink energy swords, lightsabers. Or you can put it in the gun, which, uh, do I have it the right way around? Yeah. Just slide it in there, and you have a gun blast effect. Multitasking for those things. But now, here is the real star of the show. The shield. I like the shield. Actually, I love the shield, what they did with it. So, overall, first and foremost, you have a regular handle on there if you just want to hold the shield with your Gundam. But, then you have another piece, which uh, is already connected to the gun, actually. Didn't know that was still on there. But, you can just put that on the back over here. And then you have a storage for your gun. If you want to hold the shield with the gun in it, you can do that. Or, you have... Another piece, if you take this off, and uh, you connect, or was it this one, you can clip that, it's just on a ball joint, I can't really get it in there right now, or is it in the middle, maybe it's in the middle, yeah, there you go, then you can clip that on the back, which I've already mentioned, there is a hole in the back, you clip that on there, and you have an entire storage for the gun, or you can clip that on his forearm, which is probably what I want to do, and you can still store the gun in there, but yeah. Overall, you have a lot of options with the shield, and I love that. Kudos for all these things. And it's gonna bring me to the final thoughts for this Gundam figure. Uh, yeah, I just... I really, really like this. What I, what I didn't really mention is that this is also a more budget-type figure. I say budget. It costs about 30 or 40 bucks, depending on where you get them. So, with that in mind, it's really really good also I uh, I mean I complain about the lack of paint but it kind of gives it some retro charm the more I look at it the more it kind of grows on me and even as a non you know hardcore Gundam fan this is still a pretty cool figure and I like it so as such I will recommend it because I really don't have any issues with it overall it looks very cool the articulation is great and it comes with some cool accessories that really gives you a couple of options for posing and whatnot. So yeah, I don't really have any trouble with it. Also, by the way, you have holes between the legs and there's another panel over here which you can flip off. If you want to attach a Bandai Tamashi Nations Spirit Act 5 base or whatever, like you have like the robot bases, which I don't have, so I cannot show you that, but that's gonna do it. 
As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, comp game stuff, and whatever. Gundam RX. What was it like? I forgot. Sorry. RX 782. Once.